Kodiak Cubs Preschool, we have the same things that other preschools have. We play bingo, we got blocks, we paint, we play with Play-Doh. We get wet in the water table and we create with beads. But we've got something that other preschools don't have, our big kids. And these big kids are our superpower. Our big kids come from Cascade High School and they participate in the Child Development 2 program where they are able to act as assistant teachers in our preschool and pre-K programs. They love to create and read and play and just be with little kids in a way that makes our program so joyous and wonderful. They add that spark of energy and enthusiasm that only teenagers can bring to any situation. They're our superpower and we love having them. But let me talk, let them talk to you about their ideas about participating in our program. Um, well, my aunt used to work with, with you, and uh, I had been coming here for a while, and I've always wanted to try it out. And last semester, I took a class, and I really liked it, so I took it again. Um, I've always wanted to be a teacher. It's something I've always been interested in. I have a lot of teachers in my family, and it also helped that my favorite little cousin is also in this class. I love kids, just in general, and I enjoy being with them and learning more things about them. Because every kid's different. Yeah, I basically just wanted to see like how different kids like they how they adapt to learning and like how I've seen kids from ages like two to three years old, like the way they learn things and the way they adapt to things to the age they're five years old, they learn more things and they're more talkative and try new things. I took this class because I like helping little kids. Um, I chose to participate because I've done both Child Development 1 and 2 and I just really liked working with kids and helping them get ready for kindergarten. Um, I also have done Child Development 1 and 2 before and I really liked being in here and I also want to pursue a career kind of like this later on. Great. Um, well, when I think of the word inclusion, I think of, like, having everyone involved. Um, kids are always working together. Yeah. It's, so everyone always has someone to play with. They're never alone. Like, everyone's included. I feel like we try to, like, include, like, everyone during class, um, whether it's like including them like playing with a game if they're if they don't have someone to play with or like making sure that they get their work done and stuff like that. Yeah, I agree with what she was saying. Always just trying to make sure everybody's included. Um I feel like just sometimes there's kids who are like at different levels of like academics and stuff, so making sure that everyone gets their work done, whether whether they're like more advanced or like if they need a little bit more help. Yeah, like helping like everybody who needs help in the class. Like maybe making sure everybody gets the help they need. Yeah. And like knowing what they're doing and making sure that they feel like they're like they can do what everyone else is doing. Um, I feel like this has like taught me a lot. I feel like it's helped me a lot like kind of figure out what I want to do in the future. Like before like doing this class I wasn't really sure but after doing this class I realized I like doing this and want to do this in the future. Um, it's helped me with like my patience and like just uh, making sure to give everyone like around me like time like just being patient with everyone and making sure I include everyone and not leaving anyone to feel left out. Yeah. 
Hi, my name is Carly Ostrom. I'm a senior and I took child development two in my first semester of my senior year. I plan on going to WSU next fall. I'm going to be in the Honors College and I would like to study human development and in the future, I'd like to work with kids. Um, I joined Child Development to, to fill the career pathway graduation requirement, but I also joined because I heard it was fun and I wanted to try something new or a new career that I might consider. My fondest memory is learning all the new things in class and then coming back after the kids were gone within class and um, we got to talk about like new things we learned in class with the kids or we just talked about how our day was. Um, the concept that I learned about inclusion was the curb cutout scenario where like when they made up curb cu cutouts, they really helped everyone and not just people in wheelchairs. It, the same concept is in the classroom as well, where if you do change one thing in the classroom for one student, it could help everyone in the classroom. Thank you. Hello, my name is Nani Lemons and I participated in the Kodiak Cubs Big Kid Experience uh, my sophomore, junior, and senior year of high school, which would have been around 2014 uh, through 2016. Um, Currently, I am a transitional kindergarten teacher, and my experience at the Kodiak Cubs uh, preschool influenced uh, my career choice, and I am very thankful for that. Um, the reason I decided to participate in the Kodiak Cubs preschool um, program when I was in high school, um, I thought it would be an easy class, and I loved working with kids and being around kids, so I said, why not? Um, and from that moment that I walked into the classroom, I just fell in love. I had a wonderful time. And a couple years later, I am, now I am a preschool teacher. Um, my fondest memory of being at the Kodiak Cubs is probably when we were able to sit down and read with the kids one-on-one. -on -one. It's something that I still love to do. Um, and I do it with my students. And just seeing them get so excited about the stories and reading, just, it's amazing. Um, and then how did my experience at the Kodiak Cubs influence my ideas about um, the inclusion of students with special needs in general education classrooms? Um, from what I've observed in the Kodiak Cub Preschool and in my own classroom, it's so important that all students are welcomed into the classroom, no matter where they are academically or developmentally. Um, just being around other kids and just helps them so, so much, getting their social skills, social emotional, their um, even speech development. It's so important that they are there. Um, and I think all students should be um, included in the mainstream classrooms. Thank you so much. Hi, uh, I'm Gracie and I uh, participated in Kodiak Cubs throughout high school. Um, starting, I believe, as a volunteer my freshman year, and then I took the uh, child development class my senior year of high school. Currently, I've graduated college and I'm working with a public library system, um, and I also am working with a uh, independent bookstore as a, an events coordinator. Um, I kind of chose Kodiak Cubs because I'd always loved working with kids, um, and I really, I was really interested in being part of such a, uh, such a great program that I knew uh, did so much for the community and for high schoolers and for, you know, preschoolers as well. Um, and, and also allowed all, all parties to have a really wonderful uh, kind of experience of development and experience of community. Um, I think my fondest memory is uh, when I was at, it was at the end of the year, my senior year, and we were doing like the graduate walkthrough of all of the schools, and we had our robes on and our caps, and we got to go uh, walk through the middle school where the preschool is, and all of the kids who I was working with in the preschool at that time, they were out there and they had signs for us. Um, and then after I, I went in and I said hi to them and they, I, they just swarmed me and gave me a huge hug. And I have one of my most treasured photographs of high school is, is of that day and uh, me just surrounded by all those kids. Um, and yeah, that's my fondest memory, I think. I'm, but I have a lot. It's, it's, it's vying for first place against a lot of really great memories. Um, 
how and how did my experience influence ideas about inclusion, uh, specifically of special needs students? Um, I think that what it really kind of Im uh, impressed upon me was that, um, <laughs> not to quote Star Trek, but uh, infinite diversity and infinite variations is uh, a good thing, and and, and having um, having a, a, an inclusive and diverse group of students uh, is really valuable, not only for the development of the special needs students themselves, but also for the development of the uh, non-special needs students. Um, being able to be in a classroom with people who are not like you, with people who don't act like you, who don't look like you, um, is a super, super important part of development. I think that that, um, it, it really showcased how valuable such a diverse classroom uh, can be. And not, and not even just a diverse classroom, because I, 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 I don't even think that it's a diverse classroom. It's just a classroom made up of kids. Uh, there's no, you know, I think saying it's a diverse classroom sort of implies that there is some sort of, uh, like, choosing happening, some sort of, uh, uh, like, organization or, um, in, it, like, inclusion of people who are not supposed to be there. But it's, it's very clear when you go in and you work in a classroom like that, that it is just kids and that 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 sort of classroom is a cross-section of what the real world looks like and I think uh, that was a real learning experience for me to be able to uh, see kids develop around uh, such a wide-ranging group of people um, so yeah those are my thoughts thank you Hello, my name is Andrea Rodriguez. I'm a paralegal at an immigration law firm. I participated at Kodiak Cubs during my time in high school around the years of 2014 to 2016. I chose to participate in the preschool because, of course, it was always a better option to spend time with preschoolers and with the high schoolers. And after participating the first semester at the preschool, I just liked it so much that I kept coming back semester after semester. Um, I have to share that I never went to preschool as a kid, so this was my own preschool experience as well, so I'll never forget that. I will never forget going out to the playground with the kids and playing with them. They just have so much imagination, and trust me when I say there was never a dull moment with them. The conversations that these kids would have just really showed you their growing personalities, and it was just amazing to watch them learn and evolve, especially the children that you got to see time after time, you know, throughout the months or throughout the entire school year. Um, one semester, I do remember having some special needs students in the classroom with everybody else. And it was just incredible to see how all the students just got along. All the kids got along. There was so much inclusivity. Like I never felt like the kids treated each other different at all. Um, and I'm sure this helped the kids learn to be inclusive of others and understand that we're all just as equal. Being a big kid at Kodia Cubs changed how I saw preschool and its availability for everyone. It made me an advocate of the idea that we need to have universal preschool. I got to witness firsthand how attending preschool was making a difference in the development and learning of these kids. And it's something I wish for everybody. Lastly, being a big kid at Kodiak Cubs did teach me the importance of early childhood education. Like I'd heard about the importance, but seeing it was a different experience. And it also taught me about all the dedicated hard work that goes into a preschool and working with young kids. It was an experience that I will always cherish. And now I always encourage parents to send their kids to preschool.